Hey everyone, this is Craig with GottaBeMobile.com and uh, I'm here today to show you how to clean a Retina MacBook Pro and by clean I mean opening it up, uh, dusting off the fans, getting rid of uh, any dust on the inside basically so that it won't overheat and uh, hopefully it will run more efficiently. Now uh, basically to do this we're going to take off this bottom plate to get access to the internal components so in order to do that you need a few things. Um, first of all, you want to set your MacBook Pro on on top of a towel or some kind of cloth to prevent uh, the underside from getting scratched up on the surface that you're working on. Uh, next you'll need a screwdriver to unscrew all the screws around the edges. And for that you'll need what's called a pentalobe screwdriver and uh, you'll specifically need a P5 uh, pentalobe screwdriver. That's the specific size that you need. Um, you can get these on Amazon for a couple of dollars or if you want you can go ahead and just get a full set that comes with all sorts of different sizes. Uh, this one right here was about ten or twelve dollars and it's made by uh, Tekton actually. Uh, T E K T O N. So if you want to search Amazon for this set, this was about ten or twelve dollars. Really cheap for what you get. In any case, you'll need a pentalobe screwdriver, and you also need a can of compressed air. Um, so those are the three things that you'll need. Um, as you can probably see, I got a little bit of a head start. I went ahead and unscrewed all of the screws uh, around the bottom plate here. There's 10 in total and they're really small. Um, they're incredibly tiny as you can tell. So what I'd like to do is once I unscrew them I'll set it immediately I'll set it off to the side next to uh, the hole that I came out of. And So as you can see there's screws I have screws all the way around uh, the edge here. That's a good way uh, for me personally to not lose them. Okay, so next basically what you'll do is after you have them all screwed up this should pop up. Um, on the newer MacBook Pros uh, even including the Retina ones uh, if it doesn't come up easily that's probably because there are um, clips, two clips on the inside so basically what you'll have to do don't be afraid to lift up with uh, more force than you would usually or what you can do is if you have one of these if you do buy this kit it'll come with a little spudger tool and basically what you can do is you can lift this up just a little bit just to, enough to get spudger in there and just slowly pry off the ends and it'll come up don't worry about breaking anything uh, because when you lift it up these two clips right here are all that's really holding it on there uh, snugly so yeah anyway after you take the plate off there is the inside of the MacBook and as you can see it's not all that dusty um, I haven't opened this up in about a year and a half so that's actually not bad uh, the plate there is a little bit of dust um, on there but we can easily wipe that off with a rag or just use our compressed air uh, and blow that off so now what we're going to do is we're mainly going to focus on the fan and then uh, this vent that goes all the way across the edge. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get our compressed air and the important thing here is that with the fan you don't want to just blow directly on it because you don't want the fan to spin while you blow your compressed air on it because um, blowing all that air can actually make the fan spin faster than it was designed to and it can ruin the motor that makes it spin. So what you want to do is just hold it with your finger and then use your compressed air. And I'm not sure if you could see that but there was definitely some dust that got cleared out which is nice. So we're just going to continue spraying along this area and then along the vent uh, along the edge here. Uh, 
Um, it really didn't need it, but it works. Um, and then what you can do is just gently uh, spray compressed air pretty much anywhere else where you see dust. And that looks pretty good. Um, you're probably not going to get every single dust particle, but that actually is okay. And then with this bottom plate, we can just we can just spray off the excess. And then if I mean, if you want, you can dust it off. Or actually, you know what? I am gonna use my sleeve here just to. There we go. That looks a lot better, actually. Okay. And so that's all that really there is to it, to dusting out your computer. And then what you'll do is put the lid back on and take your time with this. Don't rush it because if you rush it, you might break something, and that's not good. So it's lined up, and then what you can do is just press down until the clips you can hear those two clicks that means that the covers on it's good to go and then what we're just going to do next is we're going to take our screws uh, screw them back into place with our pin left screwdriver and then that's that uh, anyway uh, thanks for watching again you can check out gottabemobile.com for more news reviews and how to's on iphone ipad and mac thanks for watching